I have been like a rageaholic, you guys. Like seriously, my hormones have been nuts. Hey guys, I am 37 weeks today and I am in the parking lot of my uh, midwife's office, OB office. And um, so I wanted to just jump on here super quick and say hello and update you. I've got a couple minutes before I have to go in and I shouldn't be talking longer than a couple minutes. So... So I figured I'd do that. Um, 37 weeks, you guys. Holy moly. I'm 37 weeks right now. I have been having, like, the worst cramping ever <laughs> for, like, the last, I would say, almost a week. But it's gotten so bad. I mean, I was up yesterday or this morning from 1.30 until 4 a.m., just in so much back pain. Like I, I questioned if I was in labor because I was in so much pain. And then I ended up checking myself because I was like, am I in labor right now? And I wasn't, um, which was actually a little bit discouraging because I feel like I'm like, oh my gosh. And I know that if I'm having cramping, I'm probably a facing and probably, you know, stuff is getting ready for what it needs to do. But man, it is painful. It's really, really painful. I keep telling myself, like, my labor and deliveries are usually, like, only, like, three hours long from the time when it officially kicks and I'm in active labor. Um, but I can have prodromal labor for a couple weeks. And so, yes, it's really nice that my labors are fast and easy normally, but, man, like, the pain of like walking around having cramping all the time, not being able to sleep at night. I felt like nauseous last night. I was so sick because I was in so much pain and my stomach was so hard and I mean, I was chugging water so wasn't dehydrated. But I'm definitely gonna talk to my midwife about it today because I don't know what is going on. I'm having pressure like, so much pressure. I'm having pressure like down by my butt. I mean like I have so much pressure and I have so much cramping and I'm just in pain like so I don't under I don't know I could just be in early labor like my other ones and just be in prodromal labor forever <laughs> until I'm in actual labor which I've done it before I can do it again you know but it's definitely like oh man it's painful all right I'm gonna go on in and I'm gonna talk with her get to my appointment and then I will come back and I will do a little update and chit chat with you guys some more um, I'm glad I'm getting these little last few weeks in getting some vlogs up for you guys just to document it and share with you guys how these last few weeks are so I will see you in just a minute as I am back from my appointment my midwife did say though that she thinks Ingrid is sunny side up right now and so she said that is that what she said her position isn't optimal basically she thinks her back is facing my back she wants me to do the spinning babies thing which is where um, I'm trying to gonna try to move her into a better position which normally my kids will move into a better position by about 39 weeks at least my boys did um, which usually like lets up on the prodromal labor and then makes me think that they're never gonna be born because I'm not having pain anymore <laughs> and then they're born <laughs> my strep test came back and I was negative I don't know if I shared that in my last test my last video which is good my GBS was negative um, I didn't have her check me she's like I could check you if you want me to and I told her no <laughs> I just I feel like with all my pregnancies Fiona was earlier than the boys but um I don't know I just don't feel like I feel like your body kind of like follows a rhythm with pregnancy and I'd be very surprised if I go like super early I'd be very surprised so I'd rather just keep on keep it on and um and wait for baby girl to get here. Since I did my 35 week, uh, my hospital bag is packed, finally. I've got most of, I got everything um, for her, I got. I'm still waiting on the Moses basket um, 
from Wendy Ann, and I told you I'm gonna share in a video when I when I get that. I'll share that with you guys because I'm super super excited for that. It's been beautiful out, you guys. It's been so nice out. What time? It's 55 out right now, which is a little chilly, but the sun is out. And I mean, in Michigan, it's gorgeous. There's leaves changing colors and. It feels like fall and I feel like at this point my pregnancy having a change of season is so nice because it kind of like lifts kind of lifts me up a little bit and it's nice to think about like have something new you know like I'm waiting for this baby but the seasons are changing and there's like so much to be excited about so so yeah with homeschooling the kids and the changes of the season I just gotta keep thinking about that because these last few weeks are seriously a mind game and especially when you're in prodromal labor it's like you're in pain and then you're wondering if you're in labor wondering when you're gonna go into labor like and it's like it goes by so fast that I don't want to even I just don't want to get myself all worked up you know and hormones are oh my gosh you guys hormones okay this is what I need to tell you about. This is like the biggest. I have been like a rageaholic, you guys. Like seriously, my hormones have been nuts. Like I get angry about the easiest, like littlest things. I will start crying. I will like, I mostly get mad. And then I get like, I'm so hormonal and angry and worked up that I'm crying after I get angry. I don't know, John said something to me in the car the other day that I totally took the wrong way. And I will say, I took it the wrong way. I totally did. But I was mad. I went from mad to sobbing. Like, I cried my head off. The kids were all in the back seat. John and I were driving. And I was sobbing like a crazy person. We were in line at McDonald's to get a Coke for me. And I was sobbing. Like, I had to put my sunglasses on and look the other way because I was so embarrassed. And I just, I couldn't stop crying. I was... I was a flippin' and not you guys. I'm not even kidding you. So that's kind of where I've been at. My patience level has been like nothing. I'm just, I ain't got it in me right now. I'm like, I'm done. I'm real done. So hopefully things will level out in the next few weeks so that I can enjoy the next few weeks. So my family can enjoy the next few weeks. They don't have to deal with me being crazy. We'll have to see. But yeah, that has been a huge thing. I knew there was something. Like, there is something that's been different the last week or two. My hormones. I've been crazy. So yeah. All right, you guys. I will insert a picture because I can't do a belly shot because I'm in my car right now. I mean, like, here we go. This is the belly. I'm obviously not driving. My legs are cross-legged. But I'll show you guys a little picture of uh, of a... I'll show you the picture I took in my midwife appointment, though, um, right here for you guys. So you can see what baby Ingrid looks like at 37 weeks. Oh, gosh, you guys. Pedal to the battle. We're in the home stretch. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.